All right, the next test we're going to do, Amy, is an ABI study. That stands for Ankle Brachial Index. Um, what an ankle brachial index is a procedure um, where we'll uh, place blood pressure cuffs on both arms and on your ankles. We'll check the blood flow, um, the pressure of blood, I'm sorry, in your arms, and then compare that to the pressure of blood flow in your ankles. If the blood pressure in your ankles is higher than that in your arms, um, that's a normal uh, finding. If the blood pressure in both legs or one leg is lower than the blood pressure that we find in your arms, what that tells us is that there's a blockage somewhere um, from the heart in the vessels that lead down to the legs and the feet. Okay, um, so basically this is uh, for blood pressure. So okay. That's it. All right. And then what would be the next step if you did determine there was a blockage? Do you have more testing or? Yes. Um, if they were, if this screening study determined that there was a blockage in the legs. Um, you would have a formal arterial study um, where we did all the cuffs. Normally we have um, eight cuffs that are placed down the legs. Um, we also have, you can go ahead and straighten your legs. We also have cuffs on the feet and the toes um, and we do what are called pulse volume recordings which we um, measure the expansion and contraction that occurs with every heartbeat in our arms and our legs. Um, we measure the change in the air volume in the cuff uh, corresponding with the change in blood volume in that layer or that level of the extremity. And then we check an actual blood pressure in each of those, um, each of those cuffs. So this is just like having your blood pressure taken just in four exactly. spots? Exactly, in four spots. Now we do it a little differently. Instead of using the stethoscope um, to measure the blood pressure, we're going to use a Doppler which measures only the systolic or the top number of the blood pressure. Um, that's the number that's important. Okay, just turn that palm up. Great. And the sound that you hear is nothing more than the computer's version of the blood moving through that artery. Now with the blood pressure difference, um, what actually happens there, the, the physical aspects of, of what we're measuring, um, if blood uh, water is traveling through a stream, and, and for example the stream may be eight feet wide. Um, if the stream narrows down to a point where it's only four feet wide, the same amount of water has to go through that stream, so two things happen. Um, number one, the speed of the water increases, but the pressure of the water decreases. The same thing in the arteries. If there's a blockage, um, the blood flow has to move faster through that section of blocked artery. Um, in that case, the pressure, everything beyond that, um, drops. And that's where we look for the difference in the blood pressures in the ankles. And who might present for this test? Who might need this? Um, what we're looking for in this test are patients who have um, pain in their legs when they walk um, that resolves when they rest. So if you can walk, say, 100 or, or 500 feet um, and develop pain in the legs or tightness in the calves or weakness or heaviness, some patients describe it as, um, and they have to sit down and rest for a few minutes before they can go again, um, those are the patients who are highly suspected for having peripheral arterial disease. Once again, patients who have diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, history of heart disease, um, those are all high-risk patients, especially patients who smoke. And then we just look for um, differences in blood pressure between the arms and the legs. And, and that's really it. Okay.
And the beauty of these machines is opposed to just doing this with a blood pressure cuff and, and uh, a normal handheld Doppler is that these will automatically calculate our ankle brachial index for us. Um, so that uh, helps us to be much more accurate than if I had to calculate it by hand. <laughs> um, so anything above 0 0.9 is a normal finding. Yours is 1.1 on both sides. Um, so you're completely normal. Okay, Amy, we'll have a vascular surgeon review the results. He'll confirm the results that we found, and we'll send this out to your home. Um, you should receive those results in about a week. Mm -hmm. um, we are an accredited screening vascular laboratory. We're one of only three in Pennsylvania. And what that means is we've met or exceeded um, a high list of standards set forth by the Intersocietal Commission for the Accreditation of Vascular Laboratories, which is a huge word, uh, abbreviated <laughs> ICAVL. Um, however, they are the, um, the world's leading um, accreditation agency for vascular studies, vascular procedures. Excellent. Okay. Thanks, Dan. Thank you.